Have you ever heard of a biometric passport? It's also called an electronic passport because of its technological significance. A few days ago, Burkina Faso launched its new biometric passport, making it among the first 10 countries in Africa to adopt this cutting-edge technology. But what exactly is a biometric passport, and what is the significance of this new passport for Burkina Faso? Let's find out. At first glance, a biometric passport looks like any other regular passport, but what makes it different is that it contains a unique RFID microchip that carries your biometric data, such as a digital map of your face, fingerprints, or an iris scan. The passport also has a plastic card that carries all your personal information and a photo printed on the card. This photo is produced via laser engraving, which is irremovable. But why was biometric passport introduced? Biometric passports were introduced as a response to the increased threat of terrorism from identity theft. The first identifier of a biometric passport is a small chip logo at the bottom of the front cover. This is the telltale sign of an e-passport. Previously, there were some bumps that allowed you to identify chips, but the latest technologies have made chips barely noticeable. Impressive, right? Well, Burkina Faso under the president of Captain Traore has become part of the few African countries to embrace this innovation. On the 3rd of September 2024, Burkina Faso officially launched its new latest generation biometric passport. According to the reports, the new passport marks a notable break with the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS, as it will no longer bear either the mention or the logo of this regional organization. This is interesting given that the regional bloc, ECOWAS, is still trying to bring Burkina Faso back to the bloc after President Traore announced the withdrawal of Burkina Faso from ECOWAS earlier this year. This new passport, however, signifies that Burkina Faso has no plans of returning to the bloc no matter what ECOWAS plans to do. Equipped with an electronic chip for the collection and storage of biometric data, this passport is made of polycarbonate, a material renowned for its durability and safety. According to Mohamedou Sana, Minister of Security, this technological innovation places Burkina Faso at the top of West Africa and among the first 10 African countries to adopt this cutting-edge technology. The Director General of the National Identification Office, ONI, Parfait Lure, stressed that the design of the e-passport is provided by the Chinese company Emtech as part of a public-private partnership with the Burkinab State. An online pre-enrollment system has been put in place to facilitate the obtaining of the passport, allowing instant transmission of data to embassies while strengthening security. The biometric project was launched in 2022 and has finally taken shape after two years of development, and it marks an important step in the modernization of identification documents in Burkina Faso. Now, what exactly is the benefit of this passport to Burkina Faso? First, by launching this passport, it tells the world that Burkina Faso, under the leadership of President Traore, is open to accepting new technology, which can attract investors to invest technologically in the country, thereby boosting industrialization in Burkina Faso. Secondly, security. This is one of the major reasons why the authorities in Burkina Faso decided to launch the new biometric passport. Burkina Faso is currently dealing with insecurity issues from armed insurgents, as well as foreign spies from the West. With the new passport, it will be hard for anyone to steal the identity of a Burkinab local and enter into the country. While the chip on the card can be detected from a few meters away, it's impossible to capture the data without obtaining the passport. In addition, faking the biometric data is also more expensive and challenging than anyone can imagine. So, you can see how beneficial the passport is for Burkina Faso. Interestingly, last year, Burkina Faso also launched and adopted its electronic visa. The dedicated platform was launched on August 17, 2023, in Ouagadougou, the capital, by the Deputy Minister for Security, Mohamedou Sana. Sana believes that the e-visa is a response to transnational crime and that it will help boost internal security by controlling migratory flows and optimize the collection and management of government revenues. The new e-visa platform, 
according to Aminata Zerbo Sabanay, Minister of Digital Transition, post and electronic communications is a huge step in the ongoing digitization of the country's public services. The platform is backed by the Burkina Faso Visa Security Project. This investment in technological innovations reveals that President Traore is dedicated and committed to developing Burkina Faso in every way, and not just security, because he understands that technology and innovation is the hallmark of any country that is on the path to the top. Just recently, Burkina Faso scientists revealed that they are set to launch the Burkina SAT-1 project, Burkina Faso's first ever satellite initiative. This Earth Observation Nano Satellite is set to transform the lives of the nation's citizens by offering new opportunities for technological advancement and connectivity. This is not just mind-blowing, but it signifies an important step in the country's journey to technological advancement that will aid in addressing critical issues including agriculture, water management, and climate resilience. The Burkina SAT-1 project reflects Traore's commitment to sustainable development and scientific progress. Think about it. This is actually the first ever satellite to be launched by Burkina Faso. However, even though Traore is dealing with a lot as president of the country, from security to economic development, he hasn't pushed technological innovations to the side. We can now see again why those U.S. military commanders called him a sophisticated leader. Now, according to the reports, the first Burkinabe satellite, the Burkina SAT-1, will be launched into space by the end of this year, if there are no obstacles. Tests have already been successfully completed. Initially, Burkina Faso signed a contract with China for the launch and deployment of the Burkina SAT-1 into outer space, and based on the contract, it was slated for the 3rd of May this year. However, due to some technological reasons, the launch and deployment was delayed. Hopefully, everything works out well so it's ready to be deployed by the end of this year. In a recent press conference, the chief Burkinabe scientist Frederick Uatara who is the instigator of the project, gave some assurances regarding the project. He said, We must now hope that the weather conditions are favorable to complete the project. But how important is the Burkina SAT-1 for Burkina Faso? Well, you see, Burkina Faso is a diverse and vibrant landlocked country in West Africa with borders with six nations. It's rich in culture and abundant resources including gold, just like other African countries. However, Despite its resources, the court has been facing some economic challenges that are made more prominent with the insecurity issues. As part of the Sahel region, a semi-arid zone between the Sahara Desert in the north and fertile regions in the south, Burkina Faso sometimes grapples with food insecurity, access to clean waters, and the impact of climate change. Given this background, it's important to note that technological advancement is crucial for driving development and improving the quality of life for its citizens. This is where the Burkina SAT-1 comes in. The Burkina SAT-1 project represents a strategic move towards leveraging space technology to overcome these critical challenges and propel the country into a more prosperous future. The project originated from the visionary efforts of Burkinabe scientists and the support of international partners with the primary goal of enhancing agricultural productivity, improving water resources management, and bolstering climate resilience through advanced satellite data. Burkina SAT-1 is a small yet sophisticated satellite equipped with state-of-the-art sensors and imaging technology, which enables it to monitor crop health, track water bodies, and provide critical data for disaster management. One of the most important parts of the project is the ground station at Norbert Zongo University. This station serves as a control and processing hub for the satellite, ensuring efficient utilization of data collected. Under the leadership of President Ibrahim Traoré, Burkina Faso is now setting a new direction for African leadership, demonstrating that transformative governance and visionary policies can pave the way for sustainable development, peace, and prosperity. Traoré's economic vision for Burkina Faso is based on diversification and sustainable development. His administration has prioritized sectors such as agriculture, mining, and renewable energy to enhance economic growth. 
The goal is to reduce the country's dependence on traditional sources of income and create a more resilient and inclusive economy. This is why education is a key component of Traoré's development strategy. He recognizes that a well-educated population is essential for promoting innovation and achieving long-term economic prosperity. His administration has invested heavily in the education sector, focusing on improving access to quality education, particularly in rural areas. The government has launched several initiatives to promote innovation and technology. These include the establishment of tech hubs and incubators to support startups and entrepreneurs, as well as collaborations with international organizations to enhance research and development capabilities. President Ibrahim Traoré's leadership is transforming the trajectory of Burkina Faso and setting a new direction for African leadership. His commitment to democracy, economic transformation, social inclusion, and environmental sustainability is creating a model that other African nations can emulate. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.